Feel Good Breakfast Show. Express here on S3, Safton Alma Nathan. I'm going to drop that in wherever I can. It's going to be beautiful. And it's time to treat you to some more Radio Meets TV. We love this type of magic. And this time we welcome the Big Breakfast team from Cape Town's leading music and lifestyle radio station, Good Hope FM. We have got some sensational people that shouldn't be on radio because they're too good looking. That's why we brought them on the TV. It makes sense. First and foremost, talking about good looking, the host, Stan Mars, <laughs> is here. If you look at his frame, his uh, beautiful face, you can understand what I'm talking about. Uh, traffic report. We've got Gabby G in the house. Gabby, make sure that everybody navigates traffic in a way that's very, very unique. Uh, basically, you almost want to get stuck in traffic because of Gabby. That's how amazing her voice is. Then news presenter, Natalie Malchas. She is so informed. She knows news prior to news actually being delivered to her. <laughs> like, she can tell you what petrol... 350 more. I'll know that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not, please. And then, of course, we've got the sportscaster, Lorenzo Daris. And I can tell you that nobody Haris like Daris when it comes to getting you the sport action. Uh, these individuals form the Big Breakfast Show, and they are going to be here to make sure that you are entertained. And, of course, Mandela Day is coming up this uh, Monday, and I wanted to make sure that these guys get a good showing exactly what they're up to uh, to make sure we celebrate those proceedings. But start off, Stan Mars. What a pleasure it is to see your face. It's been a long time, Carl. Thank you so much for having us. And of course, uh, it's always cool being here. What's not cool about being here is getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. As, as I was saying earlier, we normally do the show in our pajamas today that wasn't going to fly. Yeah. So some of us needed to wash, which is a first for many of us here. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but anyway, it's amazing to be here, Carl. I don't know how you do it to look this awake this early in the morning. So well done. Th you. Thank you. This is why we sat the nominated, because yes. we're really good at faking it, uh, which is great. But uh, from your side, I mean, you are a philanthropist. You're a, a ring announcer for wrestling. You know, you are a car enthusiast. You're just an all-round great guy. And I mean, injecting that amount of personality into this particular show, uh, it, it brings a great amount of uniqueness to breakfast radio in general. I mean, just, I feel like I want to ask you, how do you do it, Stan Moss? Carl, uh, you know the interesting th uh, part of starting the breakfast show, we two and a half years into the show. Yeah. We started this show from home. Mm. We started during COVID, so one was in Kreifontein, one was in Valchemud, <laughs> one was in Athlone, one was in Retreat. So, I mean, it was incredibly challenging in the beginning yeah. because we were only as good as our Wi-Fi connections. <laughs> we were only, the show was only as good as, as the Wi-Fi, which was very interesting. But anyway, we, we've overcome that. The show's doing really well. Yeah. Um, we, we do a lot of travels, and one of the, the highlights of our show is we do ghost hunting. We, we go on ghost trips. This. Yeah, yeah. We, we go on ghost trips. And I just want to tell you, we bang. <laughs> we are all scared. I just want to tell you, we're all scared. But we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. And it's probably the biggest thing we're doing at the moment. And we, we're planning uh, another trip as well. We go to Great. some of the scariest locations uh, in the country. And um, the team had a conversation earlier, and we're inviting you to the next one. Thank you. I'm, I'm in. I'm oh, just, I'm just saying. Ready? I'm like, I'm ready. Of course, I'll be in. Come on now. <laughs> Honestly, when you have a show that's so good, it's scary. It makes sense. Uh, Natalie, you are a seasoned news presenter, but of course, you do deliver news in a different way. Anybody can tell you, you know, this is what's happening in the government today, but you do it in a, such a, a different way. How do you bring uniqueness to news? Well, it's really just that authenticity. And as you mentioned, I don't necessarily have this crystal ball and I can preempt what the news yeah. is, but I can put my flair to it. And especially when I'm speaking to different audiences throughout the day, you need to speak to that particular audience yeah. in the language they understand. We have quite a young audience, so let's keep it fresh, let's keep it topical, let's really just cut from the fat. No context, no background, no, like, heaviness. Yeah. Just give you the hottest stories right on top and keep it tight in that nugget bite-sized that everyone can digest and just take it. I feel like you just gave me a meal plan. You said, from the fact <laughs> of bite-sized. Like, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Uh, but, of course, we've got something very exciting. Obviously, Keep Cape Town Warm, uh, which is uh, something that's been going on for years in the Good Hope FM context, and it's such a great community builder. Mm -hmm. So, Gabby G, what is about, you know, this particular campaign? Why is it so special, especially in light of Mandela Day coming up? I think this year has been different in the sense that we have um, extended the period in which we have collected non-perishables and blankets and we've reached even more communities and more people. Nice. And I think what's beautiful about this is that this time we went out 
and we physically interacted with the people that were making the donations and giving of their time and of their goods to this fantastic cause. And it's a beautiful one as that. I mean, just please follow the socials. Uh, the Good Open FM team go all over and they collect. So if you're on the area, please donate as much as you can. This man, Lorenzo Darius, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of this particular person because, I mean, you think about finance and then you think about sport. <laughs> how did that actually happen? In a nutshell, how does that even work? How does it work? Okay, what you do do is yes. you, you, you leave your corporate job and you go per study. Perfect. And then during breaks when you don't have classes, you yeah. find a radio station on campus. Yes. And you just go all in. And then you do it. <laughs> and you do it. And you just talk about what you love. And, you know, it's like they say, if you, if you do something you love, you, you're never actually working, eh? So it's, yeah, it's yeah. just one of those things, brother. So finance and sport, I mean, the numbers and obviously the Proteus numbers not yeah. up and balanced in the books. Yeah, depending yeah. on how you look at it, because 13, 12 last week wasn't a good number, though. No, it wasn't. I just feel like <laughs> that, that, yeah, that didn't add up for me, but of course there's a big game tomorrow, so we can sort it out. But this team will be with you throughout the entire course of the morning, the Big Breakfast Show, of course, on Good Hope FM. So if you have any questions, I'm inspiring you. 63 We're going to do a quick-fire questioning from your side, so voice notes in, and make the questions dynamic, unique, not imposing, but penetrating on your feel-good breakfast show. Saf the nominated. Did I mention that? Saf the nominated. <laughs>